Fury of the Furries is an entertaining combination of puzzles and arcade challenge. Think of combining a Super Mario game with lemmings or goblins and you get the idea. Although it's not yet being distributed in the U.S., once it hits our shores it should go over big with both the lemmings-like puzzle fans and arcade gamers. Although this game practically oozes cuteness, it thankfully falls short of being annoying or childish. The premise of Fury of the Furries is pretty standard for this type of game. King Furry has been overthrown by the big, bad, nasty, evil furry, and it's your job to make it through many levels of extreme danger to the castle where you will smite the evil one and restore hope and freedom to the galaxy. Oops, I had an attack of overlapping premises. It's not the most ingenious story, but at least it beats saying, your mission, get to the end of each level. Your furry can switch between four different colors, each with its own special talent. However, these colors are not always available to you at the start of the level. Passing through these color fields will give you the corresponding color if you don't have it, or takes it away if you do. This forces the player to think of alternate solutions to puzzles since you cannot rely on the unlimited access of your furry's abilities. Like in Super Mario games, bonus coins are sometimes scattered around the playing field. Collecting a hundred of these will give you a bonus life. Although the potential to simply mimic Mario games is there, Fury of the Furries wisely avoids this by reducing coin collecting to a minor activity. There's a lot more to this game than just jumping from platform to platform and running around picking up bonus items. The Yellow Furry is the only one capable of directly destroying an enemy. It hurls fireballs that can help rid you of pesky creatures that intimidate you. A tap of the space bar will throw a weak fireball, while holding the bar down a bit longer produces a more potent missile. Luckily, this doesn't turn the game into just another shooter, as most of the obstacles must be otherwise dealt with, but firepower still comes in handy. The Red Furry is the one with the appetite. You may not think of eating as a talent, but you'll come to respect this little guy's abilities. By munching on select parts of the level, he mangles a path to victory, chewing on obstacles until they are no more. Apart from gnawing and obviously edible blocks, cutting your teeth on other objects can sometimes yield a nice surprise. We'll be surprise! In yet another homage to Mario games, hidden bonus levels abound in Fury of the Furries. Any object that seems to serve no purpose other than window decoration should be given serious attention as many are keys to these bonus rounds. Not surprisingly, the goal in these rounds is to collect as many coins as possible before time runs out. The occasional red herring appears, and even magazine editors are not above wasting time on suspicious but mundane objects. When you see a large body of water, it's usually a handy time to be blue. Although any furry can swim along the surface, only the blue furry can dive under the water and do a Jacques Cousteau imitation. Another talent of the blue guy is his ability to blow air bubbles while underwater. Although this may not sound so impressive, directing these bubbles at a fish demonstrates the theory that air and aquatic life generally don't mix. The green furry is the most versatile creature in the game. It also is the most fun to play by far. He shoots a rope that latches onto nearly any surface. This rope can be shortened or lengthened as you dangle from it. Rocking back and forth enables the green furry to swing through the air like Tarzan. In addition to swinging, he can also attach his line to a block next to him and pull it across the screen. It's not uncommon to find your way blocked by some obstacle that none of your furries can overcome by mere talent. Puzzle solving in this game usually involves manipulating objects to clear the path to the level's exit. Here, flipping the switch on the left of the screen will drain off the water to the right of the furry, allowing the critter to stand on the platform and continue on his way toward the exit. If you leave a furry idle for too long, it'll find a way to entertain itself. At you. Also seen here is a pulley system that a green furry might enjoy tugging on. You may never know what possibilities may open up by pulling a block to the left a bit. By the way, the green stuff is acid. Avoid it or you'll end up like this. It's cute once or twice, but who wants to keep marching into a pool of acid like a bunch of lemmings? Some levels take place in the forest. If you think this is a good place for your green furry to act like Tarzan, you're right. Unlike most levels of the game where the exit is found by walking to the right, Many of the forest levels must be scaled. Various insects will try to make your life more complicated. Although you can often get a free ride by hanging off an airborne enemy, they can also sever your line by flying through it. Although the artwork of the cutscenes really stand out, the graphics all through the game are high quality. The animated furries are especially comical and help to boost the game's appeal with a young audience. Fury of the Furries isn't just a kid's game though, as many of the puzzles can really tweeze your brain. As a trade-off for decaying reflexes, 
We adult types are blessed with amazing cognitive powers that enable us to play for up to an hour before getting hopelessly stuck. When you're not trying to logic your way around some hideous puzzle, you're scrambling to keep from getting mashed into colorful little fur patties by hostile creatures and unsafe terrain. Although these fish can only jump straight up, they do so with alarming speed, and only those who master the use of their vines will survive. Quite often the arcade sequences are even more difficult than the puzzles, and many levels must be played scores of times to get every move just right. If you've ever had fun guiding Mario through a screen full of peril, or laughed as a tribe of mismanaged lemmings marched cheerfully toward a horrible death, you should have a lot of fun with Fury of the Furries, provided, of course, you can find it. It's a terrific combination of puzzle-solving and action that should appeal to a very wide audience. It's a highly addictive treat that'll keep you entertained for hours.